of the basic qualities of respected journalism is objectivity. Now, as you may have heard in several recent news stories, one of Michael Jackson's prime complaints about the reporting featured in Martin Bashir's documentary and subsequent interviews with the press was his lack of objectivity. As we've already seen, some of Mr. Bashir's comments that made the air appear to be quite different than opinions he expressed in Jackson's behind-the-scenes footage. About Michael's ranch, Mr. Bashir's on-air comment was, One of the most disturbing things is the fact that a lot of disadvantaged children go to Neverland. It's a dangerous place for a vulnerable child to be. But what he said behind the scenes was this. I was here yesterday and I saw it. And it's nothing short of a spiritually kind thing. This comment about Michael's method of raising children was included on Bashir's special. They are restricted. They are overly protected. I was angry at the way his children were made to suffer. But this was not. Your relationship with your children is spectacular. Um, <laughs> and in fact, it, it almost makes me weep when I see you with them. Another of Jackson's complaints about the documentary is the non-inclusion of certain statements that he feels are pertinent to objective reporting. Like when Bashir devoted almost eight minutes to the abuse by Michael's father? You remember when you said to me that you just wanted to run away from your father? I hear. I used to hide. Just... But did not include this short and revealing comment. He hurt me when he blew, but he's a genius. The man is a genius. On Michael's taking his children to the zoo, Bashir says... It was no kind of trip for two young children, and everyone could see it, but Jackson himself. But what you don't hear is Michael's response. I go to the zoo all the time. I go usually when they close it down. And they told us this would be closed down. And as far as probing for the truth about Michael's changing appearance, the subject of vitiligo was virtually ignored. And the severe burns and reconstructive surgery were never mentioned at all. Can we get all this plastic surgery garbage? This is tabloid stuff. Well, you be young this. Regardless of whether you feel that Michael Jackson is correct in his assertion that Martin Bashir's documentary was not a true representation of the interviews that actually took place, there is one question that many people share. How could Michael Jackson, a 44-year-old man who has spent most of his life in the spotlight, have allowed himself to open up to a virtual stranger? This footage from Michael's camera may give you a better understanding. That was great. Thank you. That was really, really special. It seems to me that through history, people, they really want to make someone big, and they want to be, oh, this person is so talented, and we've got to make them godlike, and they have to be perfect. And then as soon as they're there, they get more joy in tearing someone down. <coughs> Eventually, when you talk and you say it like it really is, you're, you just light up. That's what, that's what, it's about bringing out what you're about. The, that whole special was, it, it was just an attempt to tear him apart. And he trusted, he trusted uh, Martin Bashir. He, and um, it's just, they took this thing back to the studio and they took a lot of things out and they, and the way this thing was narrated, it, it, it was just not fair. Why, is, why have you and I spent the last time never hearing that? See, why have I never so heard that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm always, I'm yeah. always yeah. continuously... They want to make you have to be crazy. And then slowly he started bringing his own opinion into the picture. As a reporter, as a news, I like to see the truth then I'll decide what my take would be on it. Aren't they being on his turtle? I'm being, you oh know, you know, yeah. I'm being a No, no, it's not, it's not just well, you, though. You can see that. Brashears will come and go, you know? Michael will live forever in everybody's hearts. Great woman. You're helpful. Yeah, spoken to him and allowed him to speak. If indeed this video, whatever it was that was shot, is supposed to be about Michael, then it will show him as a caring, loving, understanding, father, person, human being. Because that's what he is. 
No matter what you may feel about what you've seen on this program, it's hard to deny that Michael Jackson is a complex and controversial subject who elicits a passionate response from virtually everyone who comes in contact with him, whether through his music or his private life. In the past two hours, our only goal has been to present an objective view of events, showing them as they actually occurred and allowing you to draw your own conclusion. But we do feel it's appropriate to leave you with one more piece of information. Mr. Bashir is quoted as saying, Michael Jackson is a marvelous father to his own children, and I never saw anything that would qualify as a criminal activity. This comes from an interview dated just a few days ago. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Mari Povich. Good night. Do you sometimes despair of human nature? Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, can you any ever do anything that's right? No. No. No, no, no. No matter what you do, there's always somebody that will say something about it. They have the opinion in it, you know? No matter what you do. No matter how well your, how good your intentions are, there's always some jerk, some mean-spirited person to try to bring you down. And you, all you wanted to do is bring some love and some joy, and you know, that's all. Granada, who made the Living with Michael Jackson program originally broadcast on ITV, maintains that it was a fair and balanced portrait of Michael Jackson and stands by it.